Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hello. Punching Air Simulator 2016. It's like Farming Simulator, except you're punching the air. Yes. And it's, it's also very good. nothing like Farming Simulator. <laughs> Have you played Farming Simulator? I've not. I know it's on... I think it's on the Xbox One. I kind of feel like I want to pick it up at some point. <clears throat> okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last one I got to tag. Either that or I missed the one... Nope, I already tagged that one. So when we... Er, in the last video... Where's the fucking last tank? Did I not get that one over in the corner? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you didn't get the one in the corner. I didn't get the little one over der in the corner der. There's something, there's something under there. What is that? Oh, that's just noodles. Noodles! I don't need no freaking noodles. Alright, let's stick that on there. Is there a fucking fourth one? How many C4? Yeah, you got four C4s. I've got four C3s, but I only remember there being three tanks. Oh, probably God. One, yeah, is this one on the... Other side? Is this first episode going to end with me being fucking lost looking for tanks? Okay, there's one. Oh, there is one over there hiding in the corner. Son of a bitch. You called it. Didn't so, want to listen, but you called it. I'm not awesome. Right? I'm not awesome, but if I were awesome, I would have been able to get through this entire section without killing or touching anyone and planting the C3 everywhere. But uh, clearly, I'm not awesome. And I apologize for that. If it makes you feel any better, I will cancel the playthrough. Do it. So this part, cool. It kind of shows that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm used to only having one eye now. And also, now that we're in the canon clothing that he wears for pretty much the rest of this. Actually, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. The shit's canon. The sneaking suits in these games are usually so overpowered in terms of the abilities they give you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They're usually so overpowered in terms of the abilities they give you that um, there's almost no point to not wear them. Except it, uh, in this game, it gives you a couple situations where it's better to wear fatigue, specifically once you're back out in the jungle. But yeah. like Metal Gear Solid V, the sneaking suit... It, it, it eliminates footstep noise. And that's huge. Because C, um, CQC and holding people up and getting close to people is a bigger part of that game. Yeah. How so? Ah, never mind. I'm not going to ask. Just take your word for it. Yes, you're going to take my word for it. You're going to take it. Take you at your word. You're going to take my word. You're going to take it over and over. Snake! I've known you were here the whole time, you fucking idiot. Psst. I was literally watching you from my bedroom. Yeah, what do you think you're gonna go, sir? While your knocked out girlfriend was being forced to fillet me. Because... Rape simulator, I don't know. Hey look, it's the boss. Okay, so this part's interesting because he, he kind of goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. At this point. So by the end of the game, it's still... Insurmountable odd. Look at that! Bitch. Only Boom. person to put. The boss got pissed. The boss is like, oh shit. He really wants to fuck me up now. And he's still getting, you know, slapped around a tad. But. Not as much as he would normally. Yeah. <laughs> he's still. She still fucking flips him over in the middle of the stuff and then onslaughts like, wow. I wish he would talk in rails. Rail, 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 rail. That a save. Nah, fuck it. What? Saving data is for people who don't know how to fish. <laughs> which is an Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference. I apologize. I will cancel the playthrough. For Welcome you. to Counseling play Playthroughs 2016 Simulator. <laughs> cancel playthrough 2016. Jesus Christ. I love it. Uh... <laughs> So here's where everything comes to a head, because look at what he has right there. The thing that... Oh! 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 Dun! 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 Notice everybody's reaction. Also, look at this fucking goofball. Is it counting down to? It's counting down because the timer's going on the explosives that are attached to the huge fuel tanks that are in this hangar that we're currently being held up in. Hmm. She was wearing perfume to cover the fact she smelled like 
gasoline. She smelled like cum. Ew. Oh, I'm sorry, Internet. Was motorcycle gasoline have a different smell than gasoline I, in the 60s? I, I wonder if it's like a, if it's like an oil mix. Mm. Since it's a German... I don't fucking know. Oh, he shocked the, the, the things. Such a fine woman she was. She had ass for days. <laughs> what a fucking... Like, I've said it a million times. What a goddamn cartoon villain. Just being evil for the sake of being evil. Like, for oh, serious ease. Yeah. Like, this, this part is just to set up the fact that if you're not already pissed at him, you should be pissed at him. Yeah. Like a kick to the gun. Right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? What you doing? Ah, uh, she's not down and out. She's not out yet. Oh! As he electrocutes the bejesus out of her. She doesn't seem to take it too bad. Hmm. Not like Snake. She didn't pee herself. You dirty whore! <laughs> you dirty whore! <laughs> the asshole. I love it. He's so pissed off. What do we got? Hey, the time's still running down. So, this is one of those... <laughs> <laughs> this oh god, is, he's dying. Yep, yeah, I'm dying. This is one of those interesting moments in the game where you're watching... Like, the time is actively counting down as you're watching this. Um, however, if you skip the cutscene, it doesn't adjust for time that would be in the thing. Um, so you actually get more time to fight this guy after the cutscene if you skip the cutscene. So now here we actually go into who the philosophers are and what the fuck they are. What's going on? Why it's going on? Yeah. Who likes turtles and who does not, in fact, like turtles? Three countries pool their resources, conduct the most covert types of operations, and I wonder, like, the atomic bomb, rocket. I wonder how how feasible this idea was. You know what I mean? You got super quiet. Yeah. But, like, obviously we had the big three that came together, you know, publicly in terms of America, the USSR, and Great Britain in terms of opposing the Nazis. But I wonder what type of an underground, like, you know, power structured Illuminati group was together like that. I'm sure I'm sure there wasn't anything quite on the scale of what exists in this game, but you know. That is true. But there is a lot of stuff that went down. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? So this is interesting because basically Volgan's father was a philosopher. Okay. Um, what's interesting about that, and you learn later, and I don't necessarily think it's a spoiler because it doesn't have any effect on what goes on later on in the story, but uh, the boss's father was also a philosopher. The boss's father? Yeah. And she knew about it. And uh, I, I think he told her in the process of uh, all the philosophers, all the original philosophers being assassinated. And I, I, I'm pretty sure he was the last one to go. Okay. So she's got a personal stake in all this philosopher shit. The philosopher's legacy and just war in general. Because they were it was a group put together to wage war. And to create shit with which to wage war. Such as the Cobra unit. Cobra! Right? Yes. So this is also interesting because he kind of explains his motivations, but you know. Used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. Very cool. The boss was conniving. Looks so 60s. Yep. I feel like I don't have too much to say about what's going on at this point, so I'm gonna quiet down a bit. But yeah, well, there's not really much to say. I mean, this is kind of confusing. Really? A little bit. 
how 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 are you confused, sir? Maybe I can to do clarify this, we for need you. Strength. An unstoppable trump card with enough Ooh. power to bring order to the world. You have no oh, idea, no. huh? No. I guess I've just not been paying attention for this this yeah, this part. So basically, up to this point, in terms of story, we understand that the Philosophers was a group of uh, the leaders of a group of powerful men who were mm. behind weapons development place. and spy covert bullshit uh, during World War II. Uh, they accrued a massive sum of money. <clears throat> Excuse me. They accrued a massive sum of money in order to fund research and uh, fund operations and everything like that. And uh, by putting units together, such as the Cobras, the boss's unit, um, they were able to win World War II. Um, now, towards the end of World War II, the Philosophers split into two groups, the, the, the uh, Philosophers of the East and the Philosophers of the West, which then split into he Russia and um, unless he had a reason. Uh, China, the as they were the, the two of the founders of the Philosophers. He must be some now... With that split, basically the war was over, so they started bickering amongst themselves. Um, and the Philosopher's Legacy, which is, I think they say, $100 billion, which yeah. at that time was quite a bit of money, um, was one of the big things. And it ended up in Volgan's hands because his father was basically the bookkeeper for the Philosophers, and he was able to launder the money into their own section of the Legacy, basically, which is what... Uh, 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 Volgan has there and he now trusts the boss enough to even show this shit off to her Fight like he a thinks warrior, uh, who is it mm, excuse me he thinks that uh, uh, Ocelot would never defy him so he doesn't give a shit if Ocelot knows or not he's just this 19 year old kid he can stamp out whenever the fuck he wants but right. here we go we see right now we see that the boss and Eva and even Ocelot kind of Wait. like like, clearly, they, they understand that something's going on here. <clears throat> God, I'm all phlegmy and my nose is all phlegmy. Maybe I should be eating more of my chili. Mm. But a big part of this is the fact that this fucking Volgan guy who's creating all these nuclear weapons that can start World War III, you know, all these advanced tanks and flying shit and blah, 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 the Shagohod, he's creating all this shit and basically running amok with all this money. Um, and everybody's trying to kind of vying for control of that money. The United States government, Russia, uh, through Eva, you know what I mean? I want some of that money. <laughs> if I had a hundred billion dollars, I would invest it all in Activision Blizzard, wait three weeks, and pull out three hundred billion dollars. <laughs> With the way their stock has been rising lately, that probably would happen too. So here we go, we have we have <laughs> grumpy ocelot. Oh shit. So this this part's fucking weird. Yeah. Because at this point Ocelot's just kinda saying, fuck it. And this guy's trying to keep him in line. And we still got the goofy ghost like, hey! Seven minutes. You got some time to kill the guy. You gotta do it. Oh yeah, I should equip some special weapons for this Sorry as well. Shotgun. So now you know we what? now we get to have our uh, now we get to have our, our Rocky versus Drago moment here. Is also, he... I've seen someone take Volgan out in like two min two almost three minutes. No damage. CQC only. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it CQC only since I'm going to be going for... Am I going to be going for a non-lethal with him? No, I'm not. I'm not going to be going for a non-lethal with him. Go non-lethal, all you get is a Cold War you uniform. Get, yeah, you get a Cold War uniform, which is basically Vulcan's uniform, which makes Russians not want to fire at you. Um, however, I am going to be doing one little Easter egg that's going to uh, make you giggle. I don't know if I've shown it to you before. Befair? Befair. I don't know if I've shown it to you before. So look at him using electricity to burn his clothing off. I wonder if that's how he gets uh, Eva's fishnets off in bed. Hmm. Zaps the holy crap out of her. This doesn't hurt with it. I see your skin literally bubbling, but hey, that's a kind of a turn on for me. <laughs> Snacker. So at this point... 
Huh. Give it to him. Yeah, at this point, this is a knockdown, drag out, mono e mono brawl. And I will be punching the fuck out of this guy. Because it's funny. And it helps with my gameplay wow. strategy. Wow. <laughs> this is such, such a This is such a cool beginning to the finale. Because this is just a string of action sequences and boss fights from this point. And even Snake at this point is just like, fuck it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Yeah, are you ready for this? Sure. I'm ready for this. But first, let me change everything around. Really? This is this is part of the part of the Easter egg I was gonna show you. Oh. Uh, let's see, backpack. I don't need the C3 anymore. I want the shotgun. Shotgun. I want uh, white phosphorus grenades. How many do I have? Twenty. That's more than enough. And we can get rid of the C3 at this point. So I've got everything I need there. I've got my life medicine in case I need it. Now watch this. Let's see if I can get him right away. Ivan. 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 Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Ivan. Ow. Ooh. He's so pissed off. Oh, did you see? He tried to do. Crap. Yeah. Flying fucking drop so, kick. So that was the point. First, he gets super sad about the fact that you know there's his lover, and then, and then he gets pissed off because he's like, "Wait, it's just Snake. I'm an idiot." All right, so let's go back to this. Let's go back to the cannon uniform. Yeah, he's not very smart. And from here, this is basically this is basically a cross between CQC and trying to get this guy to uh, not be electric for a while. Get him right there. Yeah, okay, no. so my strategy for this game is to wait till he's not electric, knock him down, then pull out a shotgun, fucking shoot him in the stomach. Do it again. Oh, never mind. And then you can use grenades to knock him out of animations, because he'll go he'll go into uh, he'll go into fights where he where he will uh, hit the entire screen with something, and you can basically stun lock him by. Um, oh, this is ah oh, shit. Yeah, this is one where I should have uh, gotten him with the grenade. Is I should have seen the prompt and, you know. Alright, so really quick, let's take care of that gunshot wound. And then go right back to the fight. What? He shot me in the leg. I mean, it can't exactly be accurate when you're firing, you know. From your hand. An AK-40. Yeah, 7.62 round from your hand. Does 7.62 look like a 5.56? Oh, God. Ooh. If he hits you with his electricity when you are in, uh, when you have a weapon equipped, it uh, blows up all the ammunition in your uh, in your magazine, which is kind of annoying. Which is why you'll see me equipping and unequipping weapons regularly throughout this fight. Regularly. Regularly. At this point, at this point, I'm just kind of running circles around him to fuck with him, but you know. Shit. There we go. Yeah. He fucking shot me again, but... Yeah, there we go. So we've got him down to half health already. See, that only took three or three or four times, I think it was. Yeah. But it's a good way to stat this shit, Joe. It's a real good way. It's boring. You, you, Fuck it. You done good, Snake. You done real good. Even with them even with them straps pulled up in your butt cheeks. Shoot him! Look at Ocelot being a grumpy Gus. Someone so grumpy... Who's a grumpy little man? Oh, who's my grumpy little man? Do you need time out? Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean? So this, like, the first time I played through this, once I got to this point, I'm curious. I'm sitting there wondering if, by this point, Ocelot isn't just fed up with his shit. Also, this is really cool. You see that he's not so much of a pushover, just based on the fact that he deflects lightning with bullets it's fucking crazy but um no at this point you see that maybe he he his allegiance maybe isn't as devoted to vulgan as you thought it might be um which leads you to believe what's up with this guy which if you have any history with the series you know that this guy's always got more than one angle and you're kind of starting to see it now like then again man. at this point he's just mocking the guy he's been having to deal with for Vulcan. However fucking long. 
Jeez, so, it took that long so the for funny, them to detect the explosives. Yeah. So the funny part is they detect the explosives. And they say non EOD personnel leave, but nobody ever disarms the explosives. Ever. Or or pull nobody ever pulls them off of the giant tanks. <laughs> I love how Ocelot's just like, fuck it. And then he turns to Snake. Snake. Yeah! He does the thing. He's like, Kung Fu fight his ass. Even Volgan at this point is like, what the fuck, dude? Fucking asshole. Dick. <laughs> you stupid dick face mouth. Ready for some more snake? Absolutely. So here we get to phase two where he gets more uh, crazy kung fu stuff. Duck. Yes. Yeah! We got him with the grenade. Did you see that? Yes, All right, let's switch to... I got him. Oh! And while I'm on the ground here, I'm going to throw a grenade at his ass. The fuck? What? Why did he... Uh-oh. Never mind. Come on. Come at me, bro. Uh, Duck. Shit. No, I should have thrown the grenade faster. There we go. See? Because it brings him out of it. And even though I'm dealing with some gunshot wounds at this point, I'm still doing better than I was. It's kind of important here. This is the part. This is the part where we can actually get him away from electricity. Because he's draining electricity from the system in order to... Shit. I wasn't able to get him in time. But I wasn't able to duck it. Damn. So yeah, he gets he becomes very difficult in this second phase here. And you have to be able to catch him at a moment like that. There we go. And then you equip the shotgun and blow his fucking face away. Yeah. And if you notice done. from the grenades and shit, he's already down to he's already down he's already one hit. So that grenade should Oh wow. Nope. It didn't actually yeah. No fucking no Run away! No, I'm scared. No. Okay, come on, go into one of your animations so I can hit you with grenades and shit. See, cause you can't you can't CQ see him when he is you can't CQ see him when he's actually electrified, because you'll just get fucking blown up. But yep. there we go, we've beaten Vulgan. That is exactly how Rocky IV went when, you know, Sylvester Stallone pulled out a shotgun, knocked Drago to the ground, and fucking shot him in the stomach. <laughs> yeah. Ow, my ears. Ow, my ears. My headset's hurting me. Owie. Run. So Run, we've now fucked up Volgan, and Volgan is half dead and immobile in a hangar that's about to explode. And Snake has clearly been beaten the fuck up. So this was, from a can from a, a from a story standpoint, this was supposed to be a hell of a fucking fight. Even though it pretty much involved me ducking his bullets, throwing him to the ground, and then, you know, metaphorically kicking him while he was down. Yeah, everybody. There were still that many people in there, and now they're all running away, all scared and shit. All of a sudden, yeah, they're running. That's dumb. You're all dumb. I mean, the, the announcement went off like five minutes ago, you idiots. Yeah, idiots! Maybe it just, the base is that big, it takes them that long to get from one side to the other. It takes you like 30 seconds to get across the entire thing. Video games. Even Ocelot's just like, eh, fuck it, whatever. And then he goes back to playing his part. <clears throat> so, we've defeated the big bad guy. We've ran our ass off, and now here's Ava. And he doesn't know what the fuck's going on, but we've got this awesome sequence coming up. Um, and I hope you're all ready. This shit is amazing. She's just fine. Just being electrocuted. She's one tough chick. She can take a punch to the jaw. Sean Connery will give her that. <laughs> it always goes back to Sean Connery slapping women around. Always. Yeah. Don't give up. Um, He's saving his friend, even though they're all just gonna burn to death at this point. How did you? How did you? She let me go. This is interesting. This is the point where you're like, okay, there's definitely shit going on here. I mean, you you get little hints of it throughout the game, 
but you really it really only gets spelled out for you at the end and it really enhances uh, the events of this game She's at the lake. very true it's very good and like the boss fight at the end is a very emotionally charged boss fight especially if you've gotten invested in the story and it's a very good story it's not as crazy as some of his other ones that's for damn sure yes and then you get the twist at the end and holy shit if you're not bawling your eyes out it's because you're filming a let's play and you've been you've been drinking to push the emotions down i'm not crying i'm not crying it's just raining out here where fucking no <laughs> Oh, oh I'm sorry. Chopping onions and shit. I just I tanked you trying to enhance my own joke. I apologize. This is fucking terrible. Canceled. Playthrough canceled. <laughs> Welcome to Crying Simulator 2016. <laughs> Welcome to Shut Up, It's an Emotionally Charged Moment 2016 Simulator. <laughs> oh, man. So everything blew up and we're just kind of shooting the shit here yeah but here comes here comes some awesome shit oh yeah something's half oh god oh it's burst the baby it's the shaggle hod shaggle my hod we can't god damn it you gotta fucking <laughs> shaggle my hod shit we can't i think it roars here i think it makes roaring noises all the big Quiet. mecha in these games make roaring noises like dinosaurs and shit why would they make roaring noises? Why wouldn't they make roaring noises? He's so pissed off right now. I wonder how the arms are being controlled. Foot pedals? Yeah, you know, maybe. Oh, man. That just seems like something that, you know, would be controlled another way. And here we are coming on to phase 1.5 of the finale of the game here. Yeah.